Has it, has it impaled itself? It's gone right through it. Yes, it has. Oh, how did you do that? You're not going to be able to save it. Oh my God. I just have to pull it out. Yes, and it will die. I'm sorry, little thing. Yeah, you're not going to be able to save it. What is it caught in? Bin tie. Oh. Some sort of plastic. Leg, isn't it? Is it dead? Oh, is... No, it's no, it's still alive. Oh, what a mess! Poor thing. This is awful. We've found a sparrow in our hedge. She not only has a load of cord wrapped around her leg, she's also been skewered by a sharp twig. I have freed her. And it seems the twig hasn't pierced much more than skin. It's a nasty injury, but could have been so much worse. Now we need to remove the cord. God, just give me a really good nip. <laughs> Can I have my thumb back, please, sweetness? Ow. Never been pecked quite so hard by a sparrow. That, so that foot's free now. While freeing the first leg was simple, removing the cord from the second will be a much tougher job. And sadly, she's already lost the use of all toes on that foot. It's so tied a knot. There's still a bit more here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like wrapped right around her foot, really tightly. If you just move her three toes, yeah. So is it on the back toes, the toe that points yeah, backwards? Yeah, the back. The oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Pull it towards um, you. Yeah. With the last knot cut, there we go. Bella, whose eyesight's slightly better than mine, is removing the embedded cord with tweezers. My hand's shaking. There you go. All free. And now we'll treat the wounds with diluted antiseptic cream. Can you use the bit in the middle. Obviously, this has been incredibly stressful. So we'll put her in a quiet, dark place, let her rest for a couple of hours, and then see how she's doing. And while the odds are very much stacked against her, I'm going to take the fact that she's still putting up a fight as a good sign. <laughs> 